Hi, did you know at one point McDonald's made art supplies? What about the shoe brand Adidas and their art supplies? Today, I'm gonna be testing both of these out and so many more brands who attempted to make art supplies. And at the end of this video, as always, I'm gonna make some art out of everything that I've tried today. There's some brands in this video that in a thousand years, I would have never guessed that they would have made art supplies. So let's get into it, starting with McDonald's. So here they are in all their McDonald's glory. This is an unopened package all the way from 1994. And these of course are called McMarkers. These are really cool because they have the original price tag on them of $2.25. If you were to buy almost these exact same markers now, it would cost you $7. Now for the first time in 30 years, let's open these bad boys up. Oh, these are so neat. This is warming my heart right now. It reminds me of my childhood. This aesthetic is what McDonald's used to look like back in the day. I love it. I love everything about it. So let's test it out. Starting off with this red marker right here. Actually, never mind. This marker isn't even dried out. There's literally no pigment left in the marker. It's just a white tip. So let's try out this black one instead. Boom, like it's brand new, baby. 30 years later, it's still working perfect. So let's try out the other colors, like the blue, green, yellow, orange, which apparently the orange has completely turned brown, the actual brown, and lastly, the purple. Now, as cool as these markers are, there's still one more McDonald's item that is just way cooler than these. Let me introduce you to the McMarkers that are in a fry container. The fact that the holder looks like a fry box and the markers are supposed to represent french fries is just, it's chef kiss. The markers inside this are just the fine point version of these markers. And just like the other ones, surprisingly, most of these markers are not completely dried out. This is just so cool. I love, love, love the packaging on this. Do I think they should bring these back? Yes, absolutely. Next up, we have a brand that is literally one of the biggest brands in the world. And that of course is Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is so big that they literally have stores just full of their merchandise. I've been to the one in Orlando and it's definitely worth checking out at least once in your life just to like see the overwhelming amount of red. But anyway, at one point in time, Coca-Cola offered art supplies. This is a Coca-Cola watercolor set. This is another one where the packaging is really cool because it's literally shaped like a Coke bottle. Looking at the colors included in this watercolor, I'm not gonna lie, I... I'm so disappointed. The color palette seems to be warm tones and cool tones. And that disappoints me so bad because in the Coca-Cola universe, especially during like the mid 2000s, they had the aesthetic on point. Oh my gosh. But honestly, I can't blame them too much. This looks like it was just made to be a cheap souvenir. Uh, yeah, this is literally just cheap watercolor. And I'll show you the difference in pigment between this watercolor and a really good watercolor. And as I was using the cute little brushes, the little hairs kept falling off into the paint. But hopefully these next Coke products are better. Inside of each one of these little Coke cans are art supplies. We have colored pencils, chalk, little stamps, and crayons. And even though these are also very cheap quality, these are already better because it seems like they actually took some time into the packaging. When you look at this little Coke, you can tell it's a Coke. Coke is Coke. Pepsi's Pepsi. All the drawing utensils have the Coca-Cola logo on them. The stamps are Coca-Cola related. And if I had to pick between the two, this just seems like a way cooler gift. I think they should definitely bring back these little Coke cans, but not the watercolor so I would say it's like 50 50. Next up we have a brand that is a little bit more fancier. This comes from the Adidas shoe brand. Back in 2005 for the 35th anniversary of their superstar shoe they came out with an all-white edition that was meant to be drawn on and they also launched separately a six pack of Adidas branded paint markers and an official Adidas color coloring book. Here's what the packaging of these look like and right off the bat, I'm pretty impressed. These genuinely look like they're from a standalone art brand and I'm even impressed with the color selection. They clearly stuck to the basics. So let's try these out and see if they actually work. But first, quick little ASMR moment. And now let's see if they actually work 20 years later.
Wow. Out of everything I've tried, these are working brand new, like they were just made yesterday. And in 2005, paint markers were not yet as widely available as they are now. I'm talking to you, Posca pens. So the fact that all the way back then, Adidas chose to go with these, I feel like that's already way ahead of the curve. They absolutely should bring this back for the 55th anniversary that's coming up in two years. Very cool. Next up, we have a brand that their art supplies are actually really successful. This brand, it almost seems like a fever dream, like the stuff that they're known for. And that's furniture, meatballs, and Sweden. This is the brand Ikea. Ikea does sell a variety of different art supplies, but the ones that I got today are the Ikea colored pencils and the Ikea paint. Looking at this packaging, it's almost unbelievable how minimalistic it is. The packaging of these pencils, it genuinely looks like the backside of the packaging, but no. The backside is even somehow more plain than the front side. And don't even get me started on the paint. This is literally just a plain white box with paint inside of it. Hi, editing me here. And I just want to say, in a world where companies design the most obnoxious packaging ever just to get you to buy, 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 it's honestly refreshing to see the simplicity and transparency of the IKEA packaging. But I, I feel like I didn't come off like I liked it, but I do, I think it's really cool that they do that. Go IKEA. <laughs> so first let's try the paint because it is calling my name. Now for the watercolor pencils. Okay, so I just got done with the swatches and honestly, it's just cheap paint. The paint is definitely like one of the lowest quality paints that you can find. It reminds me of the paint that you get at Dollar Tree. And for this paint to be this low of quality and the fact that it's $10, I feel like that's just way too much money. Especially because you can go to Walmart and get a paint that's similar quality for cheaper. The watercolor pencils were a little bit better quality. Surprisingly, they broke down very easily with the water. Usually I have to fight with the pencils to get them to break down easily with water. And the fact that they're half the price at only five bucks. I feel like these are not bad in price at all. Looking it up online, apparently Ikea sells a bunch of different art supplies, but just based off of these two things alone, I gotta say buyer beware. I would not buy these again. And this brings us to the grand finale. This brand, I haven't bought from them in maybe about a year and a half now at this point. And the reason for that is because their coffee is $7 a cup. This brand is the one, the only Starbucks. In 2007, they made their own colored pencil set. This item is the only time that Starbucks in America ever made a sketchbook with colored pencils. Oh my God immaculate condition. This is almost 20 years old. There are little minor imperfections here and there, and it originally sold for only $12.95, which is insane because this now would probably easily sell for like double or triple the price. By the looks of all the trees and flowers in this journal, I'm gonna guess that this probably came out around spring 2007. I think I was maybe like 12 at that point, like in middle school being awkward. And looking at this journal, one thing that I truly, truly, truly appreciate appreciate is the color palette. All of the colors included look exactly like something from nature, which I really appreciate because it goes with the whole spring aesthetic. And as far as the colored pencils go, it looks like almost none of them have been used in 17 years. So let's try these out. Okay, I don't know if I'm just crazy or if something's wrong with my eyesight, but does this colored pencil look black to you? Like look at the color of my nails and then look at the colored pencil. That's totally black, right? But apparently this colored pencil is brown. Make it make sense. These colored pencils remind me of Crayola colored pencils. They're definitely not artist quality. And as far as the paper goes, it's literally printer paper. And that is not an exaggeration. You can literally see through this paper. I get the idea of what Starbucks was trying to go for here. You sip a coffee, in a cafe with a little bit of coffee, get your creative juices flowing. But now in 2024, I feel like most of us artists want to be home alone. <laughs> I understand the vision, but I also understand why this was not successful enough for them to keep doing it. I think it was kind of a flop. Okay guys, so here is all the art supplies that I'm gonna be working with today. I'm a little worried because most of this stuff is not very good quality and most of it's completely dried out, but I'm gonna give it my all and try my best. So let's get started. Don't force me out of bed in your society. Don't push me down the road you're bending down. Don't try to fix my head. It's just your anxiety. Don't hush me now cause I just wanna shout.
Well, there you go. That was me trying out art supplies from really unexpected brands. Out of everything, by far, my favorite was the Adidas. They were the highest quality item and I love the colors. And everything else, I would say it was kind of like, a hit or miss. But regardless, I thought it was really cool to try out these art supplies from brands that I will probably never be able to try ever again. So anyway guys, thank you so much again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy drawing and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!